Hello again and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a different type of video. I am trying to do a reading vlog because I have the day off today so I figured I would do something different and more, I don't know, I'm trying to get through my TBR. Actually that's a lie because I just keep buying books and now I'm in this I don't know what I want to read because I have so many options but um, I love book buying and I love reading so this isn't I don't think this is a huge problem so I'm attempting to do a TBR jar where I pick out a prompt and try to pick out a book I figured that would be a fun way to force me <laughs> to read the books I've acquired and I've acquired so many recently um, and I've been in a fantasy mood because I've started playing Baldur's Gate 3 and now I just want to read fantasy but I have accumulated a lot of books that range from all kinds of things and I just want to you know just sit down and actually read <laughs> but I've also included a few prompts in there that are you know title specific so that um, there isn't a you know a question on what I'm going to read so my husband actually pulled out a prompt already but I think I'm gonna pull up two for this weekend and it doesn't like I'm not trying to finish those books I'm just trying to start them so the one my husband pulled right here a book set somewhere you've always wanted to visit so that's the first one um, and now I'm gonna pick out another one just in case I don't know I just think it's fun <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna close my eyes because there are a few that are like different color paper um, okay here's one right it's one okay and this one says a book with a one word title okay I nothing's coming to mind like right off the bat so I'm gonna go and see what I have for a book set somewhere you've always wanted to visit and a book with a one word title and if I end up finding a book that fits both of those things like one book but I mean I'll look for two if I want to <laughs> so I'm gonna go and take a look to see which books I'm gonna try to read okay check back in in a second I went through some of the books in my office and I have decided to do you know a book for both of these one book for both of these prompts um, place I want to visit Japan um, and a book with a one word title. I chose Lizard by Banana Yoshimoto. I hope that's how you say her name. I think this is a collection of stories. They're separate but also connected in some way. The synopsis is an unhappy young husband is questioned by a shape-shifting homeless man about the trials of his marriage. A woman has never felt truly secure in her life admits a deep secret to her lover and I just really liked the cover. She has a few um, of her novels with this artist, so I'm hoping to add them to my collection. But yeah, okay, so this is the book I'm going to read. Um, but I'm hoping this just pushes me to like securing a book and uh, I'll probably also read something on Audible or listen to something on Audible or from the library. Um, but I was hoping to also pick something physical too. But yeah, I will probably go get lunch and then I'll check in, like I'll start reading and then I'll check in. Please bear with me, it's my first one so I'm trying to even just get into the swing of things. Uh, it's been a while since I've filmed a video where it's, you know, f camera to face. <laughs> I'm not as comfortable in front of the camera in that way. So thank you for being patient. All right, I'll check in later. Okay, so Matt and I went to go pick up lunch and we stopped by Asgard, the card gate, uh, the card shop, because Matt went and picked up his One Piece box sets. Um, I suck at strategy-based games, but that doesn't mean they're not fun to look at because I really love One Piece. But Matt has gotten really into the game, so it's always fun to see how excited he gets when a new set comes out. But anyway, now I'm just waiting in the parking lot. <laughs> it's kind of rainy and gross outside. But anyway, um, once I get home and finish eating lunch, uh, I'll start reading Lizard. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I took like a 30 minute nap and now I feel all groggy and gross after my nap. But I've, every time I have a day off, I always feel guilty about like doing nothing when like, I'm like this is time for my free time. Like this is where I can do literally anything I want and like be creative or read or write or play with my pens, you know, like, so it's like, I can, I can literally do anything I want. This is my free time. And then I just always feel so guilty when I do nothing or if I doom scroll on Instagram or something or on YouTube. And I don't know why I feel guilty when I do these things. Like sometimes it's nice to just take a nap or, you know, look at social media. I know it's not always the best way to spend your time, but I mean, I just hate feeling guilty about it. But now I'm up or sort of up. I, like I said, I feel really groggy and now I have kind of a headache. So I think I'm going to take it easy because it's my day off. I should be able to take it easy. And then I'm going to just edit. Oh, it looks like Kathy's calling me. Just real quick, I ended up talking to my sister longer than I anticipated, and I think I'm going to maybe journal for a little bit and then try to read some of um, Legends and Lattes because the sequel or the prequel or whatever came out, I think this week or last week, and I kind of want to read that one more, but I have heard this is such a really cozy, cute fantasy, and I'm just really really on a fantasy kick right now so please leave your fantasy recommendations um i love romance but please feel free to leave any recommendations below um i haven't really read very much in this reading vlog so <laughs> bear with me as i figure it out
Okay, so I think the last time I checked in, I was supposed to be reading Legends and Lattes, but um, last minute I decided to purchase um, Forged by Magic on my Kindle, and I'm only on chapter four. Um, it is about a half orc warrior, or she's hel she's a captive in uh, like by the ice giants, I think, and um, she is basically their, you know, weapon to use because uh, half orcs are rare, or orcs are even rare, I think, and so now she's her freedom is on the line, and she has to go and you know capture some remaining i forget how to pronounce it but anyway so it's basically she has to go and get someone for something and her freedom is on the line and blah 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 <laughs> sorry that is a terrible synopsis um i will link it below so that you can look at it for yourself yeah so i'm only on chapter four we'll see if i uh continue liking it uh, Legends and Lattes is still on my list because I do want a cozy fantasy, which I was told this one was a, like when I googled cozy fantasies, this one was also mentioned as a cozy fantasy. I also want to read The Herb Witch, The Herb Witch Apprentice, I think, which is also um, on Amazon. I think it's an indie book, um, an indie author by an indie author, but um, yeah, no, I'm probably in for the day even though I kind of want to go to Barnes and Noble not that I need to or I kind of want to go to half price not that I need to um, I just don't want to drive by myself and Matt is in a one-piece tournament today so I'm probably in for the day which is fine because in my half awake half asleep moment of turning on my turning off my alarm I thought I had to go to work but really um I was like, oh no, it's Sunday. The joy I felt when I realized it was Saturday and I still had another day was just, uh, it was wonderful. So wonderful. I wish I had more time off. Anyway, so I'm going to not feel guilty doing basically anything I want, which is laying on the couch or, you know, reading in my office. You know, I can't decide where I want to read because I, I know wherever I pick, I'm going to be too cozy and then I'm going to fall asleep. But you know, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. I shouldn't feel guilty. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna probably go and eat some cereal. <laughs> I feel like a little kid. I'm excited because I have Fruit Loops. Okay. I will check in with you later. Okay. <laughs> so it is now like five o'clock. I was being lazy and relaxing on the couch and I am on page 72. So I'm only... <laughs> This is only 22% through the book, um, but I love a good, like, enemies to lovers trope. I just, I think it's fun. I love the tension. I think it's just cute, and I love when you start to slowly see them start developing feelings for each other, and I'm having fun reading it, um, but I was cozy on the couch, so I did start to feel sleepy and I slept for like 20 minutes not even like very long but then I I um I didn't want to get up so I kept feeling tired and then like after reading and then I started you know scrolling on my phone and before I knew it the whole day was just pretty much gone <laughs> so I think I'm going to edit a little bit because I do have this fountain pen video that I that is extremely late um, that I want to get done and then I'm going to journal in my five-year Hobonichi because I keep getting behind and then I have to go backlog it. This is my third year out of the five years so there's only two more years left and I just don't want any blank spaces. I know it's kind of a weird thing to do to put like pressure on yourself in that way but I really love how this is going and I'm going to, like, you know, I have two more years, but I'm going to consider, like, whether or not I get another five-year Hobonichi. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I don't remember seeing anything, but someone had told me that Hobonichi is going to do another year of One Piece. They just, they just keep, they keep pulling me in. I mean, I still love Hobonichi <laughs> in general. I mean, I bought three covers this year, um, which I still need to show you. The, the One Piece stuff I ended up purchasing. So I'll probably do that on my Techo Kaigi video closer to the end of the year. 
I cannot believe we're already in November. Oh my goodness. My jaw's been feeling okay today. Um, I'm just ready for my surgery to get these wisdom teeth out. It's driving me insane. I just want to hurry up and get it over with. Anyway, okay, I will check in with you later. <music> Okay, so I got up this morning, took a shower. Well, now we're gonna go get some brunch. I am on chapter 12, so not very far at all. Um, because I keep getting distracted. <laughs> but I'm gonna read at breakfast slash brunch. And maybe we'll go to Barnes & Noble, Daiso, Half Price, we'll see. I have nothing else to say, really. <laughs> My hair is not cooperating with me today. Okay, let's go get food. I, I don't think my brain is working right now. So I did not end up reading nearly as much as I had hoped. I only made it to chapter 14, so 30%, according to my Kindle, 30, 36% of the way through <laughs> the book. Um, yeah, so there wasn't as much reading in this reading vlog as I was hoping there would be, but I did learn something. <laughs> the TBR jar will be nice when I'm not already settled on a genre. Um, so when I'm in between, like when I'm in a reading slump, I think this jar would be really nice. <laughs> like the prompts would be helpful. So I am enjoying the book, the books I've read so far, but there are tons of books I really want to read, but I'm definitely on a fantasy kick. So again, please leave below your fantasy, your favorite fantasy selections, because I'm just in the mood for some fantasy. Um, I really, really like romance, but if it's just cute fantasy, that's also nice too. Anyway, so I think this is my final check-in for this vlog. I. I'm gonna edit a different video and start editing this video because this coming week I will be getting my wisdom teeth out and I don't know how quickly I'm gonna bounce back. I've heard several people talk about their experience and how they were out for like a week or just kind of taking it easy. So I don't know where I'm going to fall in that range of okay, bouncing back the next day to not bouncing back but I'll have the surgeries on Thursday and then I have Friday off and then I have Saturday and then Sunday too. Hopefully it doesn't take me that long. I'm hoping by Saturday <laughs> that I'm okay, but we shall see, especially since Thanksgiving is coming up too the following week. My in-laws are coming down and we're having Thanksgiving at my family's house and I'm excited, but I'm really hoping I can eat turkey. But if not, there will be mashed potatoes and rice and stuff like that. So I'm sure I'll be fine. But yeah, I'm... I'm still at the part where the characters are still kind of butting heads. Um, they're starting to like, like, like you could tell they're starting to like each other in some ways or they're fighting that, um, which is always just fun in my book. I just think it's so cute, this trope. But anyway, I'm going to try to edit this fountain pen day video. I hope you have a great week. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in my next one. Mm -hmm.